Hello there, welcome back. Uh, this is Eugene Blanchard and we're going to look at how we can do guitar strumming in Cakewalk. So very first thing what we have to do is understand the terminology that's used. Each one of the beats in a measure is a certain number of ticks. So they measure the time in ticks. If I click on this, left click on this note, it'll say what the time is. So it's on measure 2 on the first bar and then we have the number of ticks here and what we can and then it says the, the duration the duration is one bar now what we can do is we can change this number and I'm going to change it to 0 to 0 and what we'll see is it moved over just a little bit right so now we create a time delay we could go through all of these and create a time delay or we can do something I'll just uh, undo it I can go over here to my uh, snap and I'll right click on it and I'll say it's 128 and I can stagger these over 128th of a beat a measure each and now we have a strum if we double click on it we'll see that we've changed the ticks to 120 for this one if we uh, double click on this one we'll see the ticks, ticks is 90 this one is 60, this one is 30, and this is our reference. So now when we play it, it goes like a strum. Now, that's pretty awkward if you had to keep doing this over and over again. Cakewalk does have the strumming feature built in. I'm just going to put all these back to their original time, and I'm going to highlight these notes. But before I do that, go to Edit Preferences. And when Edit Preference comes up, is we scroll down to Keyboard Shortcuts. And we're going to locate a key. I'm, I'm using F2. So I'm going to use F2 key. And what you'll see is that there's a whole ton of functions that we can use. If we scroll down, we'll find one is called strum let's try uh, searching for it there strum it and you select strum it and then you bind it so you click on bind now it binds F2 to strum it so now I have the F2 key uh, bound to the strum it script and now I've highlighted the chords in my note. One of the things you have to be careful with is that a guitar chord is not the same as a piano chord, right? To do an E chord on a guitar, you do uh, E, B, E, G sharp, B, E. And normally, if you did it on a piano, you'd be doing a first, a third, and a fifth. So you have to set your notes for a guitar chord. Now when I press F2, it says how many ticks should be used to separate strum, strum notes. The default is 10. We saw that when we did 30, we got a nice strum, so I'm going to say 30. And then it's going to ask you which direction. If you have a number 0 here, it's going to strum from the low note to the high. Uh, if you select 1, it's going from a high note to a low, which is like a back uh, backstroke on a key and two it's going to alternate so we're just going to do a one and what it has done is it has added this is the uh, the bass the first note it sees at the low end and then it's going to add 30 ticks to each one of these so now when I play it we get a nice strum so now what I'll do is uh, that's just one strum for a bar so we'll, we can copy it So that gives you an, an idea of how to do strumming, but let's uh, just erase these ones. And what I'm going to do is uh, set up an E chord. I'll do it on a, I will set it up on a backbeat. Mm -hmm. 
do a copy. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my low note. So now I've selected a, a series of notes, and what I'm going to do is press F2 again, and 30 seems to work good. And this time I'm going to say alternate 2. So I'm going to put the number 2 here, and now it's going to alternate. So let's start playing. So now we can uh, alternate making chords like this. Let's do the same thing with the A chord, A minor. So A minor is uh, A3, E, A4, C, E5. I'm just going to make this an offbeat. There we go. And now I'm going to select them all and hit F2 and separate three, 30. Oh, let's do it larger. We'll do uh, 50 and we'll say alternate. And if we come back here, now we'll, we'll get our. And we can do a C. Let's see what we can do with a C here. As you can see, it's, it's pretty awkward when you do it this way. You're, you're trying to select the notes, you're trying to get up your chord structure and that. So I'll do a F2. I want uh, my 30 back again. And I want a zero over here. I'm going to do back beats. Sometimes it's very difficult to uh, uh, select. Say 30. You know what we haven't done is a just a high to low. All right. So let's see what this one sounds like. Right now, one of the issues with this is it's difficult to work with, as you can see. Uh, the other issue is it's very difficult to undo what you've done. Like Control Z doesn't do anything. It, it deletes the notes. To fix things and do it, it's very laborious to do. So what we'll see is there's a, an, another tool we can use called Ample Guitar.